Okay, so this is cool. You'll like this. Inverse operations. So first let's talk about normal operations. Let's review what that means. Here's some operators. I don't know. The arrow should be going this way. I have no idea why I just did that. Um, so we have the addition operator, subtraction, multiplication, division. And when you um, do an operation on a number, it would be like this. So we have the number 3. If, if I want to use an operator, if I want to do something to a number, we do something like add 2. So that addition uh, symbol, that's an operator. And actually doing the adding is called an operation. So 3 plus 2, if that addition operation, that 3 becomes a 5, for example. Okay, so what's an inverse operation? Uh, no, it's it's not a snowboarding maneuver like like Math Ceratops down here is doing. Uh, kind of looks like he wants some attention. So let's let's get him involved with uh, come up here, dude. With uh, inverse operations. So it, here's how I define it, just in in normal English. I inverse operations are operations that undo each other. So for example, multiplying and dividing. If you multiply something. If you want to get back to what you originally started with, then you divide. So for example, say like, here's here's my operator, my addition operator. Say like I added 3 to 2. I would get 5. Three, 2 plus 3 is 5. Well, the inverse operation of adding is subtracting. So if I start with the result 5 minus 3, I would get what I st started with, 2. So I go 3 plus 2 plus 3 is 5. 5 minus 3 is back what you started with, the 2. So this subtraction is undoing the addition. Uh, so what would the inverse operation of, of multiplying be? So if I multiply, for example, 4 times 2, I would get 8. So if I start with 8, what would I have to do to turn it back into 4? Well, I would simply divide by 2 to get 4. So division is the inverse operation of multiplication. And it goes the other way too. The uh, multiplication is the inverse operation of division. I don't know if you're, if you're like me, but I kind of think of as adding and multiplying as the good guys, and then subtracting and dividing as the bad guys. And I guess that's because it was harder to subtract and harder to, to divide. Uh, don't fall into that trap for inverse operations. It's not like plus is the normal operation and minus is the inverse. Uh, subtracting is the inverse operation of adding, and adding is the inverse operation of subtracting. They do both undo each other. So for example, if I have 6 minus 4, so 6 becomes 2. Well, if I start with 2, that's crazy. That's kind of like this wipe out here. If I start with 2, what would I have to do to it? to get back to the original number. Well, I would add 4. 2 plus 4 is 6. So I've gone from 6, I've turned it into 2 by subtracting 4. Well, I started with that 2, and I turned it back into a 6 by adding 4. So adding and subtracting are inver inverse operations of each other, and multiplying and dividing are inverse operations of each other.